Hey everybody, Norm here with another edition of Norm Leaves Work and Can't Stop Lab Viewing. This time, Homework Hustler edition. So for those of you who don't know, a homework hustler is somebody that goes out online after getting some kind of assignment that a professor told them to do and says, hey, can you help me and do this assignment? Tell me how to do this. And in this case, I was on Reddit today looking through the LabVIEW community and somebody was uh, not too shy about saying, not only is it for homework, but also they'll pay you for uh, helping them. Now, I would strongly recommend and nobody helped this person out. That is a wrong thing to do. And who, if you are out there watching this, don't do that. Uh, it's very unethical in a variety of different ways. But the reason I want you to keep watching this video is because I have a challenge for you. But what ended up happening was that they were asking for help on a professor's question, asking for them to make a calculator in LabVIEW. Now, this is a presumably a introductory course. There's not a lot of knowledge. They might not know a lot of things. So we're going to presume it's not find the equation solver in LabVIEW that exists there and just spit out a result. It's probably take the primitives of LabVIEW, abs, add, subtract, remove, or add, subtract, divide, multiply, and also uh, square root, exponential, and uh, factorial, and, and create a calculator that does these operations. And uh, what I might challenge to you is make it. I have learned, I spent a good 90 minutes, maybe more, don't tell my boss, uh, actually going through and doing this challenge and challenging myself to not use all of the tools that I know, only treat it as though I'm just getting started in LabVIEW. And I've evaluated like, what does it take? Like, how would I convey this to somebody who doesn't know these things? And it was such a learning opportunity. And I think it's a great opportunity for all of us in the LabVIEW world to collaborate and look at each other's answers. See what we all come up with on this one and we can all learn from each other. So keep your eyes peeled in the description for this one and for a follow-up video where I review my results and ideally your results too that you post out to the forum that I'm going to put a link to in this. I'll see you then.